Hello and welcome to today's reading. Today I will be bringing through information for all of us from the Blue Avians and I feel like they really want to encourage us. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting from them and they really want to assist us through this time right now. Whatever you are going through, whatever is happening in your life, it doesn't matter if you're the happiest you've ever been or the saddest you've ever been or the angriest you've ever been or you're just feeling kind of neutral. There's something here for you if you clicked on this video. Most likely. <laughs> So before I start um, looking at the cards, one thing I want to say that for me came through and maybe it's going to resonate with at least one of you, so I need to say it. Um, you don't have to be at 100% every single time, every single day, every single time you show up. You don't have to be always, always, always at 100%. And you don't have to be always fully sure of yourself. You don't have to be always the most energetic. You don't have to be at, at the standard that we feel like we need to be at. I feel like a lot of us or most of us just feel like if we're going to be doing something, we need to be this and that and everything needs to be a certain way. Um, and if we're not showing up in at 100%, let's say, that things are not going to work out well. And if you're not consciously thinking it, it might still be somewhere down in your beliefs, passed on from an ancestor potentially. So think about it and really try to, to connect that in yourself and, and understand that, you know, we're humans. We're not always going to be at 100%. We're not always going to be super healthy. We're not always going to be fully energetic all the time. We're not always going to want to meet and talk with people. Sometimes we're going to feel like, you know, I'm a bit unsure of myself. I don't know if I can do this. And then you go out and do it and it works out anyway. Or sometimes it doesn't and that's okay too. You know, things don't need to be perfect. Things don't need to work out the way that we want them to work out. So, yeah, I really feel like at least someone, someone out there needed to hear that. <laughs> if that's you, comment below and let me know. Um, I'm curious. Anyway, let's check out the cards. So, first off, we have the Sacred Union and the Holy Grail. I'm excited to talk about these cards, actually. Um, because we're really talking about, well, there's obviously here an emphasis of going deep within and uh, our relationship with ourselves. So like I said from the beginning, even if you're having a grand time, like you're having the best days of your life ever, um, maybe you're still feeling like something is a bit off or maybe you're experiencing too many energies like there's just so many energies and even though it's good it's like too much good <laughs> or i don't know when when there's too much of one thing it becomes a bit toxic like toxic positivity i guess so you might be the opposite and you might be having an awful time which then i understand completely <laughs> why you're listening to this message but to the ones that are feeling good, feeling happy, and still feel like something is not fully there. Something is not fully right, or like, I'm feeling great, but, and that but, and you're not sure, or maybe you are sure, but maybe you're not sure why there's a but there. You might have some ideas, they could be right, but if you're listening to this video, I can tell you that I feel like there is something deep within us that is creating this but. <laughs> uh, I'm having some great days, but <laughs> there's a but still. And it's coming because there's something inside of us that we still need to find, something we need to reach. And 
in one way, I feel like we need to connect with our bodies more to connect and find that deep meaning. I feel like for some of us, it's the meaning of life, literally, or the meaning of life or the meaning of our personal life. And are we on the right track? Maybe some of you are wondering that. Um, it can be a lot of things, God. <laughs> but it, it's something, this is something we can find within. But you don't just go deep. You're not just going to lay down and go deep. I feel like this is there's more to this. We need to love ourselves, love our bodies. We need to show our bodies love so they can fully open up. Um, because we are not just spirits. We are also a body. We're all here together. <laughs> our whole group, you know. We have the spirit, our emotional self, our physical self. All of these selves are one thing and all of it is us so you need to take care of that we need to um, properly take care of it so this card is really making me feel like you know, give yourself a hug don't just tell yourself oh, I love you you're doing wonderful don't just talk words need to be accompanied with action they need to be accompanied with uh, the same belief hopefully or an emotion so maybe combining that, words, emotions, and actions. Combining the three, that's like the mind, the heart, and the body. Um, combining them and making it a powerful experience where, yes, maybe you can lay down uh, with an intention to go deep and find why that but is there. <laughs> what is missing or what is what is bothering you in a way, even though you don't even know exactly what it is. That's your intention. You lay down. Maybe you're going to tell yourself, okay, now I'm going to open up. I'm going to relax. And then you try your best to feel feel relaxed you allow yourself to if you can't relax at this moment because you feel overwhelmed or just too many thoughts and everything try to just remember a time in your life when you felt fully relaxed or remember a time in your life when you felt love like love full true love when you felt loved and when you felt love when you were feeling like, oh my god, this is the most amazing moment. I'm feeling so much love right now. Remember that and fill your whole body with it. Um, or again, a relaxing moment. Whatever you want to fill yourself with. But let there be an emotion there to support it. And uh, maybe give yourself a massage. Give yourself a, a bit of a hug. Like massage your body. Just softly massaging your whole face, your neck. Wow, this feels like a meditation. <laughs> um, like I'm, I'm voicing through a meditation. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's going to be very powerful. And um, the same goes with anything else. Though when you want to create something in your life or make change, you need to incorporate these three together. Because yes, we can just say affirmations and say, oh yeah, I am um, beautiful. But if you don't believe you're beautiful, if you don't feel beautiful... Well, you're not going to be looking beautiful to yourself. And other people aren't going to perceive you as beautiful. Some might, but most won't. Um, but when you put all those together, when you're taking some kind of action to help yourself become more beautiful, uh, and when you start to dive into your emotions, maybe figuring out why you don't actually feel beautiful uh, would be a very good step as well. <laughs> And um, where that's coming from, it might be just that, you know, you feel like, yeah, I'm just very not conventionally attractive. But remember that there's many actors, models, etc. out there that are not conventionally attractive, but they still have a lot of fans. Why is that? I had a friend that was, I'm so sorry, but he was just very unattractive. But he had so much charisma. He had so much confidence that... He just walked like he owned the room. And you know what? He got way more looks than uh, other people. He w had way more relationships with beautiful women, actually. Uh, his girlfriend now is, you know, a beautiful girl. And that's because, you know, first of all, it's not even about looks. But <laughs> ultimately, it's your energy that carries you. 
Um, and it's the way you carry yourself. So just because you think you're unconventionally attractive or that you're not conventionally attractive, that's what I mean, doesn't mean that you're ugly and doesn't mean that people will always think you're ugly and that you will always think you're ugly. We all think of ourselves at some point in our lives as ugly, don't worry. Um, I don't know why we're diving so much into the ugliness, but maybe there's a lot of people who are here and might consider themselves or at some point thought of yourself, you thought of yourself as ugly. Um, but yes, I feel like our bodies just need this support. And I, you know what? I think there's something definitely in the ugliness. I, f I definitely, we definitely felt ugly, didn't we? Let's be honest here. Tell me, tell me guys, let, let's be honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with me. Did you at any point think of yourself as ugly? If the answer is 100% yes, then yeah, you know what? Your body remembers that. Your body remembers that it was called and thought of as ugly. And uh, it's sad. That, that's pretty much it. That's the message that I'm receiving. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so interesting because... You know, we hurt ourselves by saying or thinking these things. By thinking, oh, I'm looking so ugly today. Or, oh, I'm so unlikable and ugly. You're hurting yourself. You are speaking badly about yourself, about your vessel. Don't do that. And maybe you don't do it anymore, which is amazing. Hopefully you don't do it anymore. But even if you don't do it anymore, that doesn't undo all of the times that you did do it. So you need to sit down with yourself and uh, apologize. Like I said, do some little massages. Make yourself feel nice. Maybe go to a masseuse. Get an actual massage. Go to somewhere where, where you feel like, you know, you can get, um, I don't know, a makeover if you want. <laughs> Complete makeover. Um... But I really feel like you need to give your body um, some kind of reassurance that, you know, it's okay. And that, you know, even though in the past I said those things, I don't believe them anymore. And I don't think them anymore. I think you're beautiful. I think you're amazing. Um, and you know what? I am confident. And um, th as much as we want to deny it in a way, that trauma stays um, if you don't deal with it, if you don't apologize to yourself, it stays. Um, I, I felt it firsthand with myself. Um, and if you don't deal with it, uh, it, it might just come back. It might just come back. You might think, oh yeah, I stopped doing that ages ago. But then at one point you realize, oh, I'm thinking some bad thoughts about myself again. Why did those come again? Well, because your body is still hurting from what it was told. So, Look at your relationship with yourself. Look at your relationship with your body. How are you treating it right now? What are you doing? Are you doing enough? Uh, are you getting enough rest? Are you getting enough sleep? <laughs> that one is a me one. <laughs> um, I don't know. Are you showering often? <laughs> are you keeping yourself clean? Are you using good products that aren't full of chemicals on your body? You know, that's important too. Uh, the food, you know, of course, food and drink. What kind of water are you drinking? What kind of drinks are you drinking? What kind of food are you eating? Because that's all creating your body. Like, our, our cells, like, thousands or more cells die every single day. Or maybe even every single hour. Um, so we're constantly rebuilding our bodies. And uh, those cells are just learning from the ones that are older. It's like us. We're learning from our parents. And we we just become the same as them a lot of times. So you need to teach them another way. And by, by apologizing, you, you clear away some of that. And you teach them that, yeah, we can do it in a different way. We can... Uh, talk to ourselves in a different way and we can have a different relationship or better relationship together who we have the hound and the astronomer and the hound is reversed which is very interesting usually the hound you know it's talking about um either a relationship or a situation where we might be feeling a bit trapped because the hound he has his job um he's there because of devotion love loyalty whatever uh, 
the pay, <laughs> high pay, who knows? Um, but there's still that feeling of feeling trapped. And you know that but that I was saying before? Maybe it's that we're feeling trapped. Wherever we're at, we might be feeling trapped. You're feeling great. You're having some great days. But something is making you feel trapped. Or you're having awful days. And maybe it's because something's keeping you trapped. And you feel like, you know, I, I don't know if I want to keep going. You know, I feel like I want to go and run outside. Uh, like the hound wants to go and run and be in the wilderness and just enjoy. But then he's forced to, to work for the, well, let's say the royal family, for example. Um, so, yeah, usually that is the meaning of the card. But here, when it's reversed, we're going a bit even deeper. Um, we're going deeper into a place where we've been in many situations like this. And there's been at least one big, huge one where we felt so trapped. Like, remember, a re like a relationship you were in that you felt so trapped, like the person wasn't allowing you to do what you wanted to do, to meet the people you wanted to meet. Or you were trapped in a job that you absolutely hated. Or your boss, you hated your, your bosses and uh, the people that you were working with. There was some kind of situation for you. Maybe it was your family. You were trapped in a house or a family that you couldn't stand. They were so awful to you. And um, you were trapped and you know that you put yourself there, even into the family. We know that we chose our families. And because of this trauma from these situations, whatever, whichever one resonates with you, um, because of that, now we're not as inclined to start new things. We're not as inclined to accept things when they come to us. If you get an offer, you might feel like, ooh, I don't know if I should accept because what if it, the same thing happens as before? And uh, there's some kind of fear there, fear of being trapped again. And I know that, ooh, with me, there's definitely some fear like that. I used to work in a job that I hated. And, um, you know, I think even just a few months ago, I said uh, to my family, I would, I would honestly rather die than go back to doing that. That, that, that I, honestly. And there was such a big fear that I had that I would have to go back to doing that again. Because money or whatever. And... I'm sure that at least one of you might feel the same with your job. Or you might feel that way about relationships or something else. So you might not want to commit. You might be feeling a bit scared. Like, Oof, I don't know if I should take any, any even extra steps. Because if you try something crazy and then it doesn't work out... What if you have to go back, not to the old where you were, but to the old, old place? <laughs> like with me, if I try something new, then I'm broke or something. And so I have to go back to those jobs that I hated. That That's dreadful. That's scary. I don't want that to happen. And that keeps me in the place that I am. Such a good way to explain with my own example. So I hope you understand. <laughs> But again, it's the same with relationships. You might be scared to actually even go out and look for someone or to accept someone's date proposal or whatever. Um, or you might be kind of seeing someone, but you know, you're not sure if you want to commit because you've been hurt in the past. So yeah, I feel like there's definitely fears there holding us back. There's definitely uh, feelings of being trapped there's a lot, a lot of energies are coming through. And the astronomer is very interesting because here with the astronomer, we get the message of look within, definitely look within. You know, we like the Holy Grail here. It's an inner quest. The answer is not outside, it's inside. But just because uh, you should be looking within doesn't mean that you can't use astrology to help you. 
and you are at the perfect place where you can look at the transits. We have so many options to do that. Literally, you can write on Google NATO chart report and you can see everything about yourself to understand yourself more. Honestly, if you guys haven't read your own NATO charts, um, then go out and do it. Like um, The site I use the most is Cafe Astrology. You can look at your NATO chart report and you can read about so many things about yourself and then you start understanding oh this is why i'm like this this is why i'm like that um and you might notice oh i was like this when i was younger but now i'm more like this you know you see all these energies that are playing into you that are creating you helping create the avatar the, the person you right now but you can take it a step further and of course all of you that have already done that take it a step further and look at the transits now how can they help you and uh, which day would be best for you to dive deep within and uh, is anything going on in your life right now like are there any sometimes there can be transits that are like something that I had is like past and future uh, and I was in the middle of that like conversion it's like I'm I'm going from the past self to the future self I think that it was something about my north and south node don't remember exactly but um it's really interesting because it makes sense like at this point I feel like in a way I feel like I'm stuck but I feel like I'm trying to grow out into something but I can't fully because I'm still trying to release my old self um, and it completely makes sense. You know, the astrology is there to help you. It's not there to chain you down. Again, we're not looking to be trapped. We're not looking to be put in a box. It's just there to help you understand yourself, understand what your mission is here, understand when uh, the best day for you to do something is. And um, yeah, I really feel like there's a lot you can cover in that. And please, everyone, you know, if you feel um, inspired to look at anything astrology related, you, you know, we have so many resources online, literally. Google is your, your best friend <laughs> in the way. Um, so go out there and learn more about yourself and learn more about um, our current trends, the current situations. It's just interesting so interesting it's like a treasure chest full of so much information um anyway the tarot cards we got here are the four of cups the three of pentacles the moon and the ace of pentacles which is very interesting again we have the four of cups you know we have what we feel like we need or like we we've amassed something we have something and we were really happy with this at one point but now it just really feels like something is missing something is amiss and like i said i feel like a lot of us aren't gonna know what it is like it really feels like i i should be so happy right now i should be at the top of the world and feeling complete and full but something it's like a piece of my puzzle is missing. What is it? And um, we can definitely work on that. And we don't have to do it alone as well. This is a big message here with the three of uh, uh, pentacles. And even the astronomer here um, is really making me feel that. Like you don't have to do it alone. Um, there's people out there that can help you and support you. And you can ask them for help. You can ask them to assist you and for their advice it doesn't mean you have to take their advice or every single part of it it just means that you're getting another opinion and i think that's really important right now people will come into our lives to assist us to move forward and this to find the missing puzzle pieces just like even um, i guess i might be giving you a puzzle piece right now if you feel like you want to comment and say something you might be giving me a piece of my puzzle so don't underestimate the power of your words, uh, the power of your thoughts, like just your ideas. Everything that you're thinking during watching this is important. You might be thinking, oh, this is stupid bullshit. I don't think like, <laughs> you know, I don't feel like this. Okay, that's a sign as well. It's a sign of something. Or you might be thinking, hmm, what am I going to eat later <laughs> today? <laughs> Again, a sign of something. Um, but we're all 
here to help each other. So don't go at this alone. You don't have to be alone. And for some of you, the missing puzzle piece might actually be a person. And we have the moon as well. So everything will be illuminated. Um, everything will be revealed. I think, oh, interesting that, you know, I didn't mean for it to be like this, to be right under the uh, astronomer card. But is it astronomer or astrologer? Astronomer. I keep thinking, shouldn't it be astrologer? Um, but yes. I feel like there's a reason it's right underneath. And look, the moon, both of them are on each other's sides. And then we have the eye that's like light, God, source, I, that one eye that's watching everything and seeing everything. You can connect to that. You can connect deeply to that to find your way, to find where you've actually been going. It's like we're walking in the darkness and we don't actually know where we're going. <laughs> we're hoping to be going in the right way. But you can make that light appear. The moon will rise again to shine the light to show us. So that the street can be lit up and we can finally go the right way. And when you figure that out is when would be the best time for you to take some kind of action. So a lot of us, even if you feel like that right now that you're, what action? I don't have anything else new to make. Um, there is going to be something new that each of us is going to be starting. Some of you might be starting literally a new business. Some of you might start a YouTube channel. Some of you might start on like some kind of account online to share your opinions, share images, share uh, messages that you receive in some kind of way. Some of you might start something else, might start a new hobby, even that is very important. But you're going to start doing something um, when this path is illuminated to you because you'll finally figure out what the missing piece is. And the missing piece is something that we need to go start and pursue. Um, although that's one of the missing pieces. They're telling me now that that's not the missing piece exactly. That's more like what you're going to get to. <laughs> Uh, when you find that it's the next stop and the next, in a way, beginning. Um, but the missing piece is that feeling or that thought or that, that something deep inside. And uh, the release, definitely. Release of things as well. Whew, but that's very exciting, isn't it? Um, oh, this video is very long, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm speaking in such a funny way, I feel like. Like, more alien today than other days. Um, Fairy Revels is our last card here. Your life can be joyful if you allow your faith to open the doors that will make this happen. Remove the barrier and everything will be clear. We have the power to remove the barrier. Look again, we have light here coming through from above. And you know what? This light is going to enlighten you. Literally, it's going to enlighten you on your situation. You can call this in. You can receive this at any time. You can find this out. But we need to go and take the steps to make this happen. Again, talk to your body. Uh, make sure that your body is feeling good. Because if it's not, it's not going to want to receive any kind of new information. It's not going to want to move forward. It's going to want to stay and be like, hello, you still haven't apologized for, to me uh, for saying that mean thing like 10 or 20 years ago. <laughs> um, so take care of your body. Take care of your emotional body as well. Make sure that there's not any crazy fears that are keeping you stuck or any kind of um, sadness that's really keeping you stuck there as well because all these things are keeping us stuck where we're at. And make sure to take check on your astrology as well. Um, I really feel like the Blue Avians are strongly telling us astrology is so important and um, it, it, again, if you haven't read about your natal chart, that's ridiculous. That, unless you don't know when you were born. And I'm not talking about time. Even if you don't know your time of birth, you can still see some of the planets and everything. that um, Some of the information, basically. But, of course, it's more um, descriptive when you know what time you were born. But everybody knows, most people know, what day they were born on. 
don't we? So um, go ahead and read that and um, dive deep within yourself because that's that's it. That's how we will change our lives to something bigger, better, and a more enlightened, more higher, and to the right thing for us. That's a big one, right thing for us that makes us really happy. Like we can be fully happy. We don't have to have a butt there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. If you made it this far, you know what? Can you comment something with a blue heart? Thumbs up. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day. And I love you all. Bye.